Okay, so hello. This is day. What day are we, hun? Hey, hey, hey. Just gone to the uh, surgeon for my post op appointment. Uh, had surgery on the 13th of Jan. It's now the 24th of Jan. Um, first time I've had makeup on, yay! And um, out with Stella. I'm wearing a green dress. Perfect dress, actually, for Stella. Um, so yeah, look, got the results from everything. Um, we spoke about the plan moving forward. I've got um, to have a round, obviously, of chemo and radiation. Um, the tumour was sitting um, as a T3, which actually means that um, it actually had gone through to the muscle wall. The great news from today though is that it didn't hit any of the lymph nodes from what they could actually uh, test while it was in the operation. So that's great. Um, so yeah, the biggest pain I've got at the moment, and you'll see I'm sitting a little bit awkward in the car. Um, I've got a pillow behind me and a pillow underneath. I'm kind of sitting to the side. Is the fact that um, the stitches... Actually, I don't even think it's the stitches, to be honest. It's just the pain of the surgery from underneath, the Barbie butt surgery. Um, <clears throat> she explained today the reason it's, I mean, so, so much pain is because they've actually had to shave a bit of the pelvic floor as well. So a lot of the muscle got shaved off to make sure they got rid of the entire tumour. Um, and I think that's the pain that's in there. So it's specifically on the left-hand side. And there's almost like a cleft where all the stitches are. So that's where I've got um, the muscle that's then, you know, tried to be stitched back with the pelvic wall. So she was like, it was a pretty horrific and violent operation. So kind of understandable. Um, so we've just now gotten some pain relief. We've got about a two-hour drive home. Um, and we'll stop halfway and obviously, you know, grab a bite to eat or something. But um, that's it so far. Um, I will update you guys a bit more about Stella and tell you how that's all going. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Hi, guys. It's Sabrina Rojas. It has literally been 11 days since surgery. So this is the first day that I actually got into a car and I had to have my post-op appointment with the surgeon. So first thing before I kick off with what today's video is about, and it is going to be about stoma and all the stuff that you actually get once you become a member of the Stoma Association. But first thing, do you like my dress? Like, I'm sorry, but look at this. My biggest concern with getting a stoma has always been about what's the fashion going to be like. So I've got to be honest, I've, I've been a little bit, oh, what's this dress going to look like? I bought it a week before surgery. So I'm happy to report it sits just under the ribs here. It's got a little bow there. Stella, and that's my stoma's name, Stella the stoma, is sitting just here. And you cannot tell that I have a stoma. So I'm feeling fabulous. Okay, so we're going to get down to what happens when you have a stoma. So first things first, so I'm in New South Wales in Australia. Now I'm pretty sure this scheme is across of the whole of Australia. So I'm going to talk just on behalf of New South Wales stoma. What happens is your stoma nurse will organize to fill in some paperwork. And what that does is it identifies you as an ostomate. So someone that actually has ostomy bag, you know, whether it's permanent or whether it's um, until you actually have reconstructive surgery later on in life. Yeah. So I obviously have been registered to the New South Wales Stoma Association. And what that means is that every single month, I have a delivery straight to my home of 30, 30 stoma bags, plus some of the accessories that go with that. So what I'm going to say is I'm actually blown away by how incredible this service is, first of all. And second of all, all the stoma nurses, and I've now met uh, three of them and read a lot of stuff online as well. They are absolutely brilliant. So big, massive call out to them as well. So... 
I had Maureen and Joanna who actually helped me, you know, get comfortable, I guess, with how to, you know, change Stella and what the different products were for and the rest of it. It can be quite overwhelming, regardless of all the research I had done. You kind of don't know what groove you get into until you have your own. So this is what got sent to me. So obviously I've been registered. I took away two packs from the hospital and was waiting for the big pack to arrive, um, which arrived two days later, which was awesome. So I'm going to show you what comes in that pack. So this is like the first time as an Ostomate for life. So this is what I got. So I've got Welcome to New South Wales Stoma Limited. I know this is ridiculous to get excited about, but I got excited about this. I actually also got a pass and I'm just going to focus in on that. Yeah. Now, this is something I am able to carry around that allows me to use disabled toilets when I need to. I have um, had the unfortunate, I guess, experience of when I had Crohn's very, very flared up and I'd have to use a disabled toilet where I have had some smart ass in a head office make a comment about, you know, you know, normal people that use disabled toilets, you know, are just absolutely disgusting. And I kind of got into a bit of an argument saying sometimes diseases that aren't visible on the outside, um, you shouldn't comment about, don't be so judgmental. So regardless, that kind of has stuck with me. It makes me a little bit embarrassed, but I get to flush this now. So if anyone gives me attitude, I'll be like, excuse me, I have a pass. Ridiculous to get excited about, but I got excited. Okay, so here are the bags that I um, got quite comfortable using straight away. So I've also seen people that have gone, you know, tried different products. I've got to be honest, if I'm comfortable with something I'm using that isn't causing me pain, I find easy to change because this is a whole new life for me, I'm kind of going to stick with it. So I'm going to be a little bit comfortable with this for a while before I then maybe try a different product. I'm quite comfortable. So these are what my stoma bags look like. I'm just going to push this forward a tad. And you can see there, this is where you actually cut out, depending on how big the um, circumference is around your stoma. So Stella at the moment, she's gone down to about 45 millimeters, which is great. Yeah, so I've got a pack of 30 of those. Yeah, that will last me for the month. So that's that. When I say per month, like the stoma nurses do recommend that you change it every day. However, I've been on different forums. Obviously, I've done a lot of research. Lots of people kind of change their bag third day. I've got to be honest, um, I'm a second day girl. So every second day, the bag gets changed. I'm just more comfortable that way. She's working really, really well. I'm just more comfortable changing it every second day. So today, later, when I have a shower, I'll be changing um, the back. So here's some other stuff that comes with it. So this is from Brava. So you also get the side tape. And you can see there it's called elastic tape. And what this actually says is it supports the longer wear time. I'm going to be honest. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't had the need. I haven't leaked I've leaked once and it was because I had that much uh, peppermint tea and I didn't have enough solid food. It literally, and I, my bag filled up too much. I was just too relaxed on the lounge um, and that's the only time. And it didn't leak until I actually got to the bathroom. So it wasn't as if it went everywhere. It didn't. It went until I went to the bathroom. But it was like I emptied the bag and then, you know, the rest of the liquid came out. I was like, oh, let's be having a shower now and changing it. So it was no biggie. So don't freak out if you're a newbie to this, as am I, obviously, it was fine. Um, okay, we've got some skin cleanser, Sue's Irritated Skin, really good for when you're changing uh, your bag. So again, the elastic tape, I've got a good couple of packets of this. This stuff is life. I am going to tell you straight away what my favourite product is. And it is the Brava again. The Adhesive Remover Spray, Coloplast. So no Brava or Coloplast, whatever it is. Um, okay, and I'm going to show you. That's the Remover Spray. I'm going to tell you why. This is my favourite thing ever. So, just had surgery 10 days ago. I had tubes everywhere. That freaking thick 
shitty sticky tape they stick on you, which they have to, so no tubes dislodge themselves. And it gets to the end. And you know what? Yes, I'm positive, but listen, we all have our limits. I just wanted to like enough already. Um, and I remember like the last day they were removing one of my last um, patches here. And because I had already been shown how to change the bag, the adhesive remover spray is a godsend. You spray it and it just takes it off. There's no pain. It takes it away from the skin. There's no pain. So I remember the nurse started to unstick the sticky tape. I'm like, hold it. I now have magic spray for that. And I actually had um, her go and get the spray out of the thing hanging on the toilet. Because you can your bag. You've got to have that. And that's another thing. I'll talk about that later. But anyway, she went and grabbed it, sprayed it, and it came off so gently. This stuff is gold. So um, I'm going to be ordering some more of that, definitely. My favorite thing. You've also got the um, Stoma Adhesive protective powder. Now, the time that I did leak, I'm going to be honest, I used the powder before and I've actually got the spray that's the adhesive spray. So what happens is when you clean yourself, so whether you're in the shower or you're just doing it, you've got wipes all around you, you're cleaning it up, you might have a napkin or a chucks or something that you're just stopping it because sometimes your stomach will be active so as you're trying to clean it, stuff might be coming out and it's pretty funny actually. Kind of just stop it. It's, it's interesting. And I remember watching someone else comment about how interesting it was. And I thought, really? You're going to find it. It is. It actually is really interesting. So you've got that there. You're cleaning around. Then when everything's dry around it, you put the spray. And where have I got that? I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, that's a skin barrier spray. So that's the grey bottle there. And that goes on, it kind of um, forms like a, like, like a sticky barrier. So then when you're putting the bag on top of it, um, it lodges itself and you press your heat down on it just to make sure it sticks there. I'm a fan of powder, I love talcum powder. It's like for me, when I have showers, if I don't finish off putting talcum powder all over my body, I actually feel like I haven't completely finished. So I'm a big fan of powder, so I thought beautiful. Here's this version, my stoma version of powder. So I put some on, put the spray on. That's the day that I leaked. So I haven't put this back on again. I haven't needed to. Um, and it's actually been okay. It hasn't been irritated. And I've got actually quite a few um, cuts with sticky tape around it. And it's been not too bad. But I don't know. Maybe it'll come in handy for something else down the track. I don't know. It's literally 10 days in having a stoma. That's the big pack that you actually get. You get a lot of information in the magazines and stuff as well, which is fantastic. But I kind of, I guess today's video was just to say, you know, I was really terrified of having this surgery done more so for the life-changing um, event that was going to happen. With having a stoma, the difference, going out, what's going to happen. It's, it's okay. And look, I understand that I've had the benefit of being able to have researched um, and I threw myself into that and I really studied other people that were living with stoma um, and I, I grabbed comfort from that, tried to grab some tips, but I'm going to tell you guys something. You have to find that strength within and that literally just comes from you having a positive mind frame. It's not that today I'm going to be positive, let's switch on. It's about switching on all the time. So my whole journey with this is going, okay, They've cut my cancer out. So I've gotten over that hurdle. I am grateful that that's happened, that they caught it. They've got it. They've checked lymph nodes today. It hasn't spread further, although I do and I will need a good three to six months worth of chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Um, that's my next hurdle and I get that and it's going to be really tough. But I got through this stage and... I've got stoma and Stella's working fantastically. The benefit of that has been that the, the pain that I used to have in my stomach all the time for the past 20 odd years with Crohn's has literally dissipated. That to me is gold. So yeah, it's tough, but there are tougher things in the world as well. And I do kind of appreciate that. So it's a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, look, that's what today's video is all about. Um, Guys, if you have got any questions, 
Um, you know, you want to ask me about anything to do with the stoma, dress sense, anything at all, please do leave some comments. Subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be sharing basically what this journey is going to be all about as well. So I am going to bring you through when I do start chemo and stuff as well. But, you know, this is about, you know, I'll be uploading a weekly, you know, tips and bits and, and stuff that, you know, that I'm actually going through. But um, it's here to help others and, you know, hopefully just to give you a bit of inspiration to try and stay positive. There's lots of people out there going through big stuff, but I refuse to let the big C be the the word that defines who I am because it doesn't. It is something I'm going through and I'm going to beat it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.